What's up guys, StudFit here. We have another episode of Driver of the Week. And conveniently we have White Yoshi because you probably just got him. Uh, even the free to play got him as just a, 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 an award here, this tour in the holiday tour 2021. But the goal is that this information would be hopefully a good resource for you in future tours. How many times have you tried to click on a driver and see all his tracks and say, I don't know anything about these tracks other than these pictures. What's going on behind the scenes? And so that's what our goal is on these segments is to try to peel back the onion and what's going on behind the scenes for each of these drivers. We'll start with White Yoshi and talk a little bit about him now that she's, he might be new to your collection or you might be wondering, should I put tickets on him, yes or no? So here we go. Um, he debuted in the Tokyo Tour, uh, which was in March of the, earlier this year. Uh, he's reappeared a few different times, most notably the Tricolor Yoshi Pipe, along with his uh, little white Turbo Yoshi. Um, he's also been a uh, Route 90 Ruby banner in the Sydney 2 Tour, and now he's officially part of the All Clear Pipe, and now he's one of your own. So um, he's been around for quite a while, but his number of tracks is extremely high. He's got a total of 32 tracks, which is phenomenal when you think about just pure coverage. Now, here's here's the catch. He's got triple mushrooms. Uh, it's a, not a great skill. So anytime we have, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's, been a, it's a, an average skill. It, it is not bad. It's not good. But here's the thing is with so many top skills, you have to be aware that when it overlaps with Coinbox, it's just going to, or any of the really, the, the skill pluses. So we're talking about Lucky 7, Giant Banana, even Triple Banana, uh, Boomerang. Uh, these are drivers that you're going to want to use those top skills. So this will hopefully be a resource for you, a guide as to should you put tickets on him or not. When we look at the overlap report, these are the drivers that have overlap with White Yoshi that are non-coin box. We have uh, Cat Toad at level 6, which is you know a best case scenario for White Yoshi. He's going to overlap with Cat Toad five times. Um, Party Time Toad with four times. Uh, Wedding Peach four times. And uh, Rose Pauline four times. Chef Mario four times. He's lucky seven, so he's really the only one you really have to focus on on this list per se. Um, then we have, um, I believe that's the Builder Toad. So a lot of Toads here, a lot of Toad overlap. And then uh, Baby Peach Cherub four times as well. I will note on here, um, Yoshi Reindeer did get a buff, so he is also four times as well, but probably less relevant. Uh, and then uh, outside of Yoshi Reindeer, there are 17 other drivers that have three or more tracks over, uh, overlap with White Yoshi. Now let's get into the seven non-coin box tracks. So these are the skill plus driver overlap. These are the ones that you want to be uh, aware of that you're most likely going to use a better skill. Um, as you notice, White Yoshi didn't have a lot of coin box overlap with specific coin box drivers. But these skill plus drivers, these are going to be the ones that uh, you see he's got a lucky, a lot of lucky seven overlap. Um, specifically with DK, DK Pass, you're probably familiar with Donkey Kong. He's, uh, he's got that giant banana. Most likely many of you are familiar, very familiar with using him and most likely probably your number one option. For Donut Plains 2RT, you have a few different options, including Holidaisy, a.k.a. Daisy Holiday Cheer with uh, Lucky 7. You have Painter Luigi with Lucky 7. And then you have Bounce, a.k.a. Kangaroo Yoshi with bank, uh, Boomerang there. So uh, a lot of options for Donut Plains. You're probably not going to want to use White Yoshi. Here's White Yoshi's one glimmering uh, track. The track that's uh, this is the most attractive for White Yoshi. This is Chaco Island 1RT. Um, if you're like myself, you might have been using uh, Dixie Kong. Uh, that would be, I believe that's Dixie Kong. But uh, the goal is that really, um, this is the track probably where it might be a toss-up. You might want to be using White Yoshi. But that's only one track. Uh, so out of 32 tracks, here's here's the best track for him. Outside of that, there's probably a lot of better options. Uh, when you're looking at Remix Mario Circuit 1, most likely Chef Mario. Royal Raceway RT, you're most likely going to be using Peach Happy in Her Lucky 7. Or the brand new Yellow Pit Crew Toad with Giant Banana. Toad Circuit, you have Nabbit with Lucky 7. A lot of people might have Nabbit at a high level. Great track for Lucky 7 in my opinion. Uh, and then Yoshi Circuit T with uh, Party Time Lakitu, a little bit more of a rare uh, Lucky 7, but uh, still, still. Um, so I wouldn't say a lot of these tracks are super deep, like meaning that there, there's three, four other drivers. There's really only one track with three or more of these top scales. But if you don't have, you know, uh, Lakitu Party Time, 
you don't have uh, you know Peach Happy, if you don't have Chef Mario, if you don't have Nabbit, um, White Yoshi might be an attractive option to invest in. But most likely, you're going to have better options. Um, and to live, tell us a little bit about your perspective and kind of what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, so he's got really a, a lot of tracks, as you said, for uh, 21 non-cities. It's crazy. Um, for like new accounts, it's pretty useful just when you're trying to build up uh, uh, coverage. Then it's um, that, that gives you a lot of just, you know, places where you have top shelf initially. Um, he's also in the all clear pipe, so you can level him up uh, on free play accounts without having to use tickets. It's nice. Um, triple mushrooms, yeah, it's not as good as uh, coin frenzy. It's okay. Uh, triple mushroom frenzy will be 24 actions compared to a coin frenzy as uh, 30 actions. So the main strategy with him will still be front running and getting coin frenzies. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. The biggest problem with him is he, he is, loses so many tracks to coin box drivers. Um, only seven of those twenty ones, uh, those twenty one tracks, uh, don't share uh, the coin box driver. Um, and then yeah, his one track where he doesn't have any plus skill drivers is that uh, uh, RMX Chuckle Island one RT. Um, he used to have a uh, rail raceway RT, but then Beach Happy got it, and now he even lost that one to a super uh, Hila Pit Crew Toad. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. It's rough. It's, um, this is always the risk when you're talking about uh, a driver without a plus skill. It, it happens to all of them eventually. Um, so, where, who is it a smart idea for to invest? Uh, newer accounts. Um, I do use them occasionally in my free to play. Uh, accounts that don't have investment in Gold King Babam, Gold Cooper Free Running, and Peace Vacation. Those are the coin box he has the most overlap with. So maybe if you don't have all three of those, uh, it's interesting to uh, use him. Um, and yeah, and if you don't have a lot of these Lucky Seven or other drivers that cover his non coin box tracks, then I would say he's going to be interesting to use. Um, who shouldn't invest? Um, yeah, basically, if you have coin box drivers that are covering his tracks uh, and have good coverage on these non coin box tracks, uh, especially um, these plus skill drivers, but you might also just have them covered with a different high end driver. Um, at a decent investment level and yeah in coin frenzy is coin frenzy everyone can do it so that's it what about you yeah i think i'm at i uh, to be honest with you i had to look up before we did this presentation as to what level he is he's he's level four for me um i will say you know for these free to play who may not have some of these coin boxers again there's no like one coin boxer that he overlaps with you know excessively so you know each one of them have like two or three tracks that overlap with him so it's not like a you know one for one preparation where you if you don't have peach vacation he's one to kind of uh zig while that uh, everyone else is zagging but I mean, to see out of the 32 tracks, only seven are non-coin box. I think the main value for White Yoshi is he might be like a free-to-play um, uh, key for you. Because if free-to-play, I mean, you're just looking for coverage. You're just trying to get as many tracks as possible. Just try to get as much top shelf. And White Yoshi might be bailing you out. So might be a situation where you might be using tickets on him. But just know that... You know, out of his tracks, he, you're gonna you're having you're gonna have competition who are going to have better options, and you know I'm sure you're used to it by now. But uh, I will say he might be a little bit more attractive to those type of players for any type of you know whale or anyone you know my level. Um, I just think it you're never gonna really ever use him, and I never really got excited about the the tricolor pipe. I think I got him and his card just once, and then got out as quick as possible. I was not attractive to that attracted to that pipe at all. Um, yeah, this is this is tough. I mean, right? This is what happens when you have anyone that doesn't have a top skill. Is just you know these tracks on the right just slowly diminish, and uh, over time, um, th they just keep losing value. But uh, at the end of the day, he's got great coverage, and if you, that's all you need, go for it. Yeah. Cool. So there we, any, anything else you want to add to that? I think ultimately, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, you have them now, so we want to kind of give this review for you, give you some uh, facts behind the scenes. Hopefully this is helpful. If you have any suggestions for another driver or if you have uh, uh, other things you'd like to be able to see as we pull back this curtain, feel free to leave in the comments. But uh, Antelope, thanks for putting this together, and uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, and uh, enjoy the White Yoshi. Enjoy the holiday tour. Thanks, guys. <laughs>